Guys, it's PJ Trucking. Behind me, I have a 2022 F250, and behind me, we're gonna be doing an 8-inch lift kit on it. It's actually on a, like a piece together lift kit. It's on 24, 14s, and 37s. What we're gonna do to this kit is an 8-inch Poppy's Garage radius arm lift kit. So we're actually gonna be doing a leveling kit on top. We're gonna be throwing in King shocks, and we're gonna be throwing in a full radius arm lift kit with traction bars. We come over here. You'll see his old radius arms. This is our fabricated radius arm. You'll see the drop, and then you'll see the spot for the rock jaw bushings. That's gonna help you with ride quality. We're also gonna be doing a track bar back in the near to increase his ride quality. And then we're gonna be doing a set of traction bars to prevent axle wrap. You guys see in the back of the truck, it's sitting at six inches. We got long U-bolts and we're gonna be doing an eight inch block. And then we're also gonna be doing a set of frame plates on the front and rear of this truck. And we also have a new set of wheels, which I'm about to show you now. Here, you'll see our leveling kit. This leveling kit is gonna have a spot for a resi clamp because he has a shock with a remote resi. So it'll come right in here and then we'll put our billet resi clamp on top. And these frame plates, you guys can really see the flake. Our buddy Derek, DC powder coating, powder coated it. The customer wanted to match his factory paint. You guys can see the flake in his factory paint and he wanted to match it with powder. So we went through a couple things. This is actually tuxedo black to match like steel body Ford black. So I have an absolutely killer setup. These are 26 by 14 American forces. They actually have a spot for overlays you could run that's optional, it's like a net on this one. We're gonna clean this wheel up before we put it on. And then we also have a set of 37, 13, 50, 26s for these. These are empty ones as you guys can see. We actually got these mount trued and balanced. Like I, guys, like I tell you guys, chewing your tires is super important. You lose about 0.5 of an inch, but your tire's gonna start its life as a perfect circle, which is super important. These are actually Duramax wheels, so we're gonna have uh, adapters from Ford to Duramax on these and then pretty much ready to go. She brought these in. We kind of don't really recommend too many adapters unless we make them and they're hub centric. But basically these are hub centric, these are lug centric. You typically want to stay away from the lug centric one. Unfortunately, that's what the customer brought. Lily, you also want to get them a little bit longer, like three inches so you don't have to trim the studs and you... Here we have the old setup. It is for sale. It happens to be one of my favorite Specialty patterns, obviously the tires are chopped, but bro, this is my favorite specialty pattern. Like we're gonna start with the rear. So what we're gonna do is remove the old setup he had. We're gonna take out these U-bolts, put in the nice powder coated U-bolts, put in our block. All right, so you guys can see how our blocks go in. Maybe later on, if you guys are installing and you're wondering which way the angle goes, simple man, take out your old block, put your new block in. Bolt holds to the back. Oh yeah, best, best way to tell, your stainless bolt holes towards the back. Bro, that's a perfect height, dude, that's fire. Flipped it around. We're actually gonna pull out everything that this truck had before. So you guys here, take out the old radius arm, take out the shock, now we're gonna put a shock with the resi. We're gonna put the new springs and the leveling kit with the resi mount, and then start working on front pitch. So right here we have our track bar bracket. This track bar bracket, what it's gonna do is basically lower down your track bar so you can have a parallel angle with your drag link. Which uses the factory bolts, you just take them out, put this back on and then use your factory bolts to get it back in there. Obviously this is our overlay that we're gonna take the paper off and then your track bar will go back on right here. Another big part of putting these stainless overlays or probably the most important part is you wanna make sure you get all the powder out of these before you put your thread in so you don't end up with a, like a cross thread or a screw that you're never gonna be able to use again anymore. Remember, we fasten the stainless with stainless hardware. Do not use an impact gun on the stainless hardware. If you wanna use it after you've already cleaned the threads, it's okay, but once you feel some resistance and the impact starts beating on the stainless, the nuts that are welded on the back of this are actually steel, so you can cause the stainless steel head to actually seize in the part, I guess, would be the term.
So after you tap and thread all your holes, basically what we're doing now is laying all the overlays on. So you guys see this paper right here? Bro, it's kind of a flex. Basically it means that this got cut by a laser. This stainless metal is very expensive. And when you see this paper on, obviously the most important part of this is this is the protected side. So the side that looks like absolute glass is behind this side. We got the heim joints threaded in. You guys will see here, some of them are left hand thread, some of them are right hand threads. But basically, this is what we mean when we mean adjustable heim joints. They're two piece heim joints with Teflon, so when you track bars, you're not gonna have that clank that you usually get with track bars. Yeah, LG and D ladder. Mounting the frame plates already, man. So these frame plates, best thing they do is obviously cover the chassis and give you a little chance to add some detail. You know, we're gonna have a stainless overlay. You could also add these brake lines behind the frame plate if you want to. What's up everybody? We're gonna be assembling this rock chalk joint. You're gonna have your inner spherical bearing. Then you're gonna have your two bushing sleeves. You'll notice that they only have like a single orientation that they can line up in. After that, you're gonna be using whatever press you have in a socket or some sort, just so you can push through. You're gonna have two retaining washers and a retaining snap ring. It's gonna be very easy to pop in. You'll, be, you'll, you'll get to see it now. The most important thing about this is lube before and then make sure to put a zerk fitting so you can pack both the inside of this with grease and the outside of this with grease. That's it, man, pretty simple. Dr. Green's the owner of this truck. Bro, he's waiting for his truck and he brought a portable grill. Hell yeah. Dude, what we got going on? Right Hialeah, boy. <laughs> Dude, fire, man, fire. Bro, what do you think so far? It looks good? Bro, everything looking amazing. Look at that, bro. You guys ready to get out? Haha, <laughs> Quick update in the process. So, the front of the truck is on its own weight. Right now, we're actually changing the front wheels. Like I was showing you guys earlier, we got the seven and a half inch spring. So remember, I told you guys this is an eight inch lift. It is adjustable from four and a half to 10 inch, depending on what setup you put here. This radius arm could, this radius arm could go from four and a half to 10 inches. So basically what we have right here is a seven inch spring with a two and a half inch level. And then we have the shock with the resi clamp. I'll run you guys through it later on, but right now technically the right hat is nine and a half in the front and eight in the back. So kind of hard, my favorite setup. So we're gonna call it a night here. Basically what happened is these Duramax wheels, the, the adapter for the Duramax wheel, didn't fit on here because it's a hub centric one but the bore wasn't enough so tomorrow we're gonna make custom adapters at reds in miami what we have left here is the traction bars obviously the traction bar brackets everything's already got the heim threaded in so tomorrow we'll line up the holes drill them throw the traction bars on throw the rest of the wheels on and then get cooking bro i'm absolutely love come over here bro i'm absolutely in love with the way the king setup came out with our resin clamp bro i think it's absolutely fire he wanted the silver for the contrast it goes great with the shocks bro so this is a seven inch spring usually in an eight inch kit we'd either give you an inch level or a coil plate or maybe a six inch spring or eight inch spring it's very like you could ask us for whatever you'd want you know what i mean but at the end of the day this radius arm kit is a four and a half to a ten inch and he wanted it to be at nine and a half, but it's really an eight inch kit, you know what I mean? All right guys, we just picked up the truck from the alignment. Bro, absolutely killer. You guys can already see here, zero to no bump steer. Obviously this road has a couple of bumps and the steering wheel is perfectly fine. It's obviously perfectly aligned. We put a little bit more gas inside the shocks and now it's riding really, really good. Um, before we had not enough in there. Obviously once the truck settles, we want to go through, torque everything and then, you know, fill everything back up. But bro, this truck ride's absolutely good. You guys see the ride height. I think it's perfect, the slight lean you can't even notice, but bro, I'm in love with this thing, it's big. We're putting in the last stainless pieces on the frame plates. So we got LG and last year, man. So we're missing one more stainless piece for the frame plates. Oh, we already drilled everything, so we'll be able to throw it on and the truck will be completely done. So the truck's officially done. We'll drive it around a little bit more, but bro, truck runs absolutely kill it. And I'm absolutely in love with it. Ooh, that thing looks 
way too hard, bro. It's so perfect. You're sitting at the perfect height. So we just finished up the Illuma Duty. Obviously you guys see it's sitting at nine and a half inches. Remember, like I said, this is a four and a half to a 10 and a half. So we finally got everything dialed in. We actually got it aligned. We finished the little parts that were in the little parts that were lingering. And now we're gonna run you through kind of the completed kit. First of all, I absolutely love it. I think it's our hardest radius arm lift kit truck yet, bro. It's absolutely killer. Come on. I see right over here. We went ahead and did that seven inch spring with the two and a half inch level, which is gonna get us to sit at that nine and a half inch height. We have a set of frame plates. That's kind of just to dress up your chassis. Uh, obviously you could just add more detail underneath your truck. If you come way all in here, you guys will see we did that two and a half inch level with the resi. And then we're also gonna have a sway bar. So we're gonna have that fabricated sway bar. The sway bar is just gonna help with ride quality. And it's also just gonna add way more detail to your sway bar instead of that tubular sway bar. You'll see we have a nice extended end link with himes on both sides. And then we'll have a set of billet clamps as well as we did a track bar bracket on this one and that track bar bracket also gets the matching stainless. Did a set of steering stabilizers on this truck. Obviously, once you put big wheels and tires, you wanna go ahead and throw a set of steering stabilizers on there and protect your maintenance and parts. You know, you, just, you wanna optimize the ride quality even if you put bigger wheels and tires. Obviously, for a set of wheels and tires, we set it, we did a set of 26 by 14 American Forces. I'm absolutely in love with this pattern. It might just be one of my favorites from American Forces. 37, 14, 50, 26s. I'm a huge fan of 26 by 14. You guys saw earlier, we threw adapters on there, so it's a little bit spread out. Uh, I like it a little bit more spread out, but I think it's so hard. It also has a little bit of baby lean. If you, All right, if you guys see here, we have our radius arm. Our fabricated radius arm is basically going to replace your old radius arm. You don't need an aftermarket bracket. You could just buy this part if you want to just put this on, or you could buy our full lift kit, right? But uh, basically what this is is a 4.5 to 10 inch optimal radius arm. It has caster adjustable mount, so you can basically do your alignment there. And it has these upgraded ball joints or upgraded bushings that are rock jaw joints which is an upgrade from your factory bushings in there so you did a set of traction bars like you guys saw earlier we didn't get to videotape putting them on but basically it's one of the easiest things to install you throw it right under your u-bolt one bracket and then on your frame you drill a couple holes and you bolt on your frame bracket for the traction bar obviously this traction bar is going to be 63 inches the long bed traction bars are 72 inches and what it's going to do is just prevent axle wrap and it's also going to add a ton of detail under your truck we did a set of blocks on this one even our blocks get a little overlay and we actually offer a truss that goes in between the blocks now and we did a set of rear frame plates to match and kind of dress it up overall the truck's leaning like one inch i think it's the perfect lean it's got the perfect width i personally love this especially for a daily driver or you know fire build man and we got a lot of things coming for this one but overall, I think it's a fire build. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. Road to 100K. Peter Trucking.